Hi YouTube, I know why you are watching this video right now. Yeah, your PC is messed up and you need to fix it, right? Let me guess the problems. The problems may be your PC is not turning on. And, but the other problem is your PC is turning on for 10 seconds and then goes off and boots back in and goes off. And your PC is stuck in a boot loop. On the third problem, maybe your PC is turning on but nothing displaying in the monitor. Okay, in most of these cases, the problem will be with the BIOS settings. The BIOS settings is the motherboard settings and it can be changed by user or it can be changed like accidentally changed by the computer operations. Okay, and if you change the BIOS settings to a maximum or minimum than the requirements that is connected to your PC like the processor and the RAM, the PC won't boot in. So the solution for this issue is to reset your BIO settings to default. Okay. As well as you know your PC is not turning on, nothing is showing the monitor, then how will you reset your BIO settings without booting in to your PC? Okay, there is a way you can physically reset your BIOS settings from your motherboard itself. So today's video is showing that in the video. It's very simple, so let's roll in. guys for resetting your BIOS settings physically from your motherboard itself first thing you need to remove all your power cables okay make sure before removing the power cables the, there is no power supply coming into your CPU okay after that take your CPU and place in a, a safe position means you don't want any scratches happening to your PC okay and after that you have to remove these two screws holding the side panel okay just remove your screws Okay, for today's video, I'm using a basic PC because I don't want to create more confusions in this thing. Okay, and after that, you have to just slide your side panel out. And here you go, your PC. See here, this is a basic PC you get. Okay, and for resetting it, you can see here there is a battery like thing right in that. Okay, before that, you need to just remove the fan for better security just remove the four screws holding the fan okay be careful while doing this because you don't want any physical damage to happen to your motherboard remove the four screws yeah, and you'll be set to go and place your fan carefully to the side. Okay, you can see here. You can see here, here is the motherboard. And for resetting your BIOS, first thing you need to do is, you can see a battery like thingy right here, right? What does this do is, it keeps your BIOS settings up to date. Okay. First thing is you need to just pull the battery out. You can see here, this is the battery that I'm talking about. Okay, and you can see here even if the battery is the battery is damaged, then also your, your bio settings won't be up to date. It means it keeps on resetting. So you need to check the battery is not damaged. Okay, if your battery is damaged, you need to replace the battery. Okay, after that, removing the battery. You just need to hold your power key, hold your power button for 10 seconds to remove any stored electricity in the wires. Just hold your power button for 10 seconds and after that release it. And now what you have to do is, okay, you need to make sure that your fan, the Cooler fan is intact yeah and after that you need to find three breakers in this motherboard it is three breakers okay it varies with the motherboards okay where you can find the breakers is okay the breakers is a just a small thing that is situated in the motherboard 
okay you, when i tell about breakers you will think that i am i haven't seen any breakers in the motherboard okay there is three breakers in this motherboard which is very tiny okay for finding it it is very easy first breaker will be around the battery as you can see here the battery and you can see this is the breaker i'm talking about this white one okay the, the, the color varies okay a white one what you have to do is just pull it it slightly means you can just pull it out you can see here this is the breaker i'm talking about let me make it focus yeah this is the breaker i'm talking about you can see just a small thing you have just have to pull it wait for two seconds and put it back in okay it may be hard for you because so just what you have to do is if it is hard for you to remove it you just remove your motherboard very carefully and after that you can do it okay the other one will be around here you can see the red red breaker right here you just need to remove that too the symbol remove that the other breaker you can see here just symbol and after two seconds put it back in okay the other thing you need to make make sure is that the breaker will be a three pin on the motherboard but the breaker will be connected to two pin you need to make sure that you connect it to the exact same pins exact same two pins of three so that there is much more problems and the third breaker will be around somewhere around near the ram okay and yeah you can see here this is maybe you can see you can see here here is the other breaker right here okay what you have to do is just remove it slightly okay you need to make sure that no more damage is, is happening to you your your motherboard because you need to very be careful here is the other breaker and after two seconds put it back in just simple and basically now your bio settings is resetted as well okay after that don't forget to put your this batteries in which you have already removed it put it back battery back in yeah, just clip it right and done now your pc is bio settings is resetted as you wanted and okay before going and put the cover back in the second thing you need to make sure this problem can also be occurred by the dust built up inside the between the rams so you just need to pull your ram out just slide the two clips and Pull your RAM out and what you do is just clean it with a cloth or with your hands slightly. Don't damage to any other components of the RAM. Okay, a cloth is will be much more safer. Just clean it and after that just blow the dust inside the RAM slot and put it back back in and just gently push it. Yeah and now basically your ram is in place so you can now it's everything is fine to go and put your case back in sorry forgot to fix the fan while fixing fan don't over tight the fan because it will cause damage to your motherboard Yeah, you just need to place a fan right there in the correct place and that just add it okay as i told you guys the breakers for different motherboard varies okay this is a just a gigabyte motherboard so this may not be for some other other motherboard and okay also also depends on the model of the motherboard okay everything is fine and now you need to make sure that when you are operate when you fix the problem no cables are loose just make it sure 
clip everything back in except the motherboard cable the 16 pin cable and also the processor power supply okay now everything is set so you can just close it out put it back in slide it out and after that put the two screws that is holding the side panel okay you don't need to rush for these things just do it take your time and do it slowly just tighten it okay and now let's check out if the pc works or not let me plug it in now i place my pc cpu in the right position and connected everything and to my monitor and now let's check will our pc turn on or not or the bio settings is resetted or not okay so i'm turning on as you guys can see my monitor the cpu turned on and yeah my pc is booting up and now such a such a page opens then you just need to press the f2 and you can see your bios settings right there okay you don't want to you just need to reset your time and everything if you wanted and if you don't want it then everything is fine right here and after that what you have to do is just click on escape also if you know what you're doing then you want to do the best bio settings then you have to type your pc specs in the internet and you can find the bios right there and you can change it according to it according to okay and after that you just need to click on escape and shoot without saving yes Okay, if you have, if you have done any changes, then you can save it, and after that you can reset it. You can see my PC is booting up right now. And it's booting up. Yeah, you can see here it's booting up very easily no more problems with the pc and it's completely boot up and now let's sorry you can see everything is fine my pc is fine okay yeah, you can see it's boot up perfectly and that's how you fix your problem with the PC turn on turning on okay it is it is more in most cases it is for it is from the bio setting resetted and change it to any other settings okay so what you have to do is first try this thing out okay so be careful while handling the motherboard you need to make sure that no damage is happened to your motherboard and if then also not working then if it may be a physical damage to the motherboard then you have to take it your pc to your a repair shop okay also make sure you give your pc to a trusted repair shop instead of if a one to one you don't trust okay because if you give it to an untrusted repair shop then you don't know what they are going to do with your pc and also if you it is not working then you can just Try it by removing all the cables and plugging plugging it back in. Pull off all the dashes built in it, and also you can remove the processor. And also be careful while removing the processor and put it back in. Also clean the RAM and also clean the motherboard with the brush. Okay, just fine. And your PC is right in first order. You can just try it from your home yourself. And after that, it is not working, then you can give to a repair shop. So that's how you fix your PC very simply. Okay, so I hope you guys like this video. If you're new to my channel, then please make sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you guys don't miss a beep. If you li really like this video, then hit the thumbs up button. So I'll be back with another video. So my name is Albin Thomas, and you're watching Albin Cherry, and I'll catch you next one. Till then, peace out. Bye bye. Peace.